It's a kind of a retelling of the Frankenstein myth, uh, with Willem Dafoe playing the mad scientist and Emma Stone playing the, the monster. And really it's a, it's a story about uh, a young woman who finds her place in the world and a story about empowerment and self-discovery and a very, very positive story ultimately. It's, um, as I say, it's very much a life-affirming story. It's very funny. Um, uh, Emma Stone gives an extraordinary performance, and um, so I, I, you know, I think, I think the thing I've noticed most about audiences come out of the film, they just talk about how energetic they feel and energized they are by it, and, and how positive they find the film. So I hope people take a lot out of it. It's a sort of riff on the Frankenstein myth, and it's uh, kind of Emma Stone playing the monster in this case who's brought back to life by uh, Willem Dafoe, who's a kind of mad scientist. And it's set in the late 1800s, starts in London, and then travels the world. Really, Yorgos, the director, he had read the book and uh, almost eight years ago now, and he mentioned that he, he you know, wants to make a film out of it. And we'd made The Lobster together at that point, and we absolutely love working with him. So it was a kind of easy thing to get behind. And, it's a really joyous film, it's loads of fun, it's a little bit out there, but all of the cast are incredible. Emma, obviously, Mark Ruffalo, Willem Dafoe, Rami, he's a fantastic bunch of people. So yeah, I think people will have a great time if they come and see it. It's about a woman's journey of self-discovery. Bella is um, her own creature. She's a woman who is uh, hungry for experience and She's curious and bold and um, I don't know, she's, she's my favorite, my favorite. She was very inspiring. The actors in this are incredible. It was Mark and Willem and Rami and look at them. And Catherine, uh, it was, it was uh, so incredible. Like I, you couldn't ask for a better, for a better group of, of actors. So I was so, so beyond lucky. Whatever people take is what they're meant to take. I think it asks more questions than maybe gives answers, so that's, yeah, and we'll see. <laughs> Yorgos is such a wonderful director to work with. He, he, we rehearsed with him, he, we played mad games, we kind of tore up the text and put it back together again. And she's um, um, a wicked character, but she's, she's fun, she's immoral, and yet she's moral. So many contradictions, like the film itself, which makes it a wonderful thing to play, a wonderful character to play. Amazing sets, and Emma always a kind of force to work with, and Yod was um, very precise, but you can see, he, I, I'm of Greek origin, and um, so Yod was is not a classical Greek, but he, um, he, can, he has lots of passion, um, which he contains, but, um, his mind is working, so you have to be very alert all the time. And he allows games and relax and, and jokes as well, so it's wonderful. I think the main thing is that it's going to be, you're going to be a roller coaster of a story um, so original, like you've never uh, seen before. And uh, it, it's unique. So the uh, original writer. Uh, uh, is Scottish, so there's a, this amazing kind of uh, connection between a Scot, Alistair Gray, and a Greek. Um, uh, uh, and so it throws all the kind of norms of story into the air um, and grips you from beginning to end and takes you, you know, by surprise at every, every turn. So you're going to have a good time and laugh and be appalled and be shocked uh, and and totally engaged. It's about this woman that, I don't want to say it and then ruin the movie, it's just like a fantastical, whimsical experience of growing up in the world at a rapid pace due to set circumstances in this kind of magical landscape of a world that he invented, that Yorgo invented. And, um, Emily's just amazing in it. It's like all the performances in it are so beautiful. Willem and Mark Ruffalo, and it's just like, it's yeah, it's a it's a wild ride. It's a um, it's kind of a reverse Frankenstein movie about um, freedom and uh, growth and um, turning everything on its head. 
It's a part of a lifetime with an incredible cast and um, scene partner and Emma and incredible uh, director and, and uh, Yorgos. It's, a, it's been a dream come true to play it. It's the most imaginative, most original movie probably made in decades. It's hilarious, it's funny, it's moving, and it's really satisfying. The film is, is it's filthy, and it's, and it's crude and rude. Everyone involved with it is disgusting, and I'm uh, glad to be a part of it. I play Max, who's probably the only person who keeps his clothes on, and I was very happy to be able to say that to my family. Uh, me keeping my clothes on means a lot to everyone I'm related to. It's literally the best group of people you could ever be involved with. It was so, so special. Uh, Emma's a genius, Willem is, Yorgos, obviously, Mark. It was the best time I've ever had. I hope people are inspired by Emma's performance, and she just does this thing that I've always wondered about, which is, you know, what would it look like if you didn't have pre-programmed societal ideas on you and you just kind of ran free. And I think she really kind of exemplifies that idea in such a cool way. It's about um, the extraordinary journey of Bella Baxter, who's a, who is a woman who had to give it away. It's like a young Frank, it's like a Frankenstein movie, inverted. It's a comedy, it's a sci-fi, it's a fantasy, it's a coming of age movie about a young woman it's called a creating her own life from scratch, even though, she, and she starts at 36, but her brain is like three months old. And then she accelerates through time incredibly quickly and uh, goes on this amazing journey with the amazing Emma Stone. The book was quite different. We had to put Emma's character at the centre of the story, and in the book she's not quite at the centre. Um, but it was fun. I mean, Yorgos is just a great director and he's a joy to work with, and um, I knew Emma was going to be in it, so... It was all good from a writer's perspective. They're so funny and they're so fun and Yorgos spends weeks with them before we shoot, three weeks rehearsing, which is just really just playing around. And So by the end, we're all a company. We're like an ensemble, fun family kind of. So yeah, they're joy. And they're so brilliant, as, you know, they just do it so well. You're gonna see something I don't think, it's quite unique. Like I feel like it's a piece of cinema that hasn't quite, what Yorgos has done is quite extraordinary as a movie and even when I saw it I was like wow I haven't seen anything like this <laughs> and even I knew how it was being made I was still like blown away when I saw it so yeah I think um, come for an amazing time. I just recommend it highly okay um, beautiful uh, beautiful story uh, Yorgos Lanthimos is an exceptional filmmaker um, Emma Stone gives an incredible performance the whole cast is great um, it's a very special movie for me. It's a beautiful, complicated uh, relationship he has with uh, the Bella character played by Emma Stone. And I enjoyed it very much. I've got quite extreme makeup, which is, provides me with a mask, provides me with a trigger that really allows me to inhabit the character. Because when you have something like that, it, it really pushes you. It really allows you to leap into a, a being another person. So. I don't know, it was great fun to do, um, and it's a beautiful movie, what can I say? We did something that's kind of unconventional, as we had uh, rehearsal before, and it wasn't necessarily to um, explore the text, it was really to create a company, so we played theater games and, and got a, a, a level of uh, trust and cooperation that's very rare. <laughs> so um, that really bonded us, and even now, when we're reunited, um, there's a very good feeling. It was a, a, a good cast and um, beautiful experience. I hope they enjoy it. Uh, it offers many things, you know. It's the kind of movie that, uh, you know, people will see themselves in it. it uh, there's elements that really show you how sometimes we accept social conditioning that we take as a given and it kind of allows us through Bella's journey to see another way at looking at some of these things that control us. It's the story of this woman who gets a chance in life to experience the world in her own terms. It was incredible, that's why we keep doing it. Uh, we just have uh, a lot of trust for each other and we like working together and uh, we just uh, want to keep doing it. We had a lot of fun. I mean, mostly the cast did. I'm very stressed when I when we were filming. So we had a lot of fun during rehearsals, and 
yeah, on set it was very pleasant, I think, for for everyone because the, the film itself is quite funny, so a lot of the times we, we enjoyed it. I hope they're able to ask questions about stuff, like about how we're structured as a society, human behavior, um, you know, all sorts of things according to their own uh, uh, experiences and background.